We're going to start our team coverage in Clackamas County. Now, there are four fires still burning there, with the Riverside Fire being the largest at more than 132,000 acres. Numerous evacuations remain in place. Lindsay Nadrich checked in with firefighters to find out how things are going and what you need to know. Lindsay? Well, firefighters are at the mercy of Mother Nature. The wind has died down, so that's helped some, but this thick smoke is making things difficult. Thousands of acres are still actively burning, and crews are all over the county working to put out hot spots and protect homes. The Riverside Fire grew by 2,500 acres overnight to 132,000 acres. Thousands of homes are still being threatened. 33 have been destroyed. It's still 0% contained. And now for the third day in a row, thick smoke is keeping helicopters and air tankers from helping crews on the ground. With that reduced visibility, we don't have the opportunity to get really solid intel and good eyes on the fire. It reduces the ability for aerial assets to fly and, and get good information back to our incident commanders. So that's been a challenge for us. The other three fires in Clackamas County are burning a total of 5,000 acres. It's still too dangerous for crews to go back and assess the damage, so we don't know how many homes have been lost. But as things change, they're asking everyone to pay close attention to evacuation orders. Steve Cameron says he helped his parents evacuate from Beaver Creek earlier this week. Two days ago, they got uh, notice to get out of their house. You know, that was when all everybody was going crazy leaving Oregon City. We just threw everything in the car, as much stuff as we could, family pictures and stuff. Firefighters recommend having an evacuation plan in place, even if you're under a level one order. And if you live in a level two evacuation zone, you're asked not to use your sprinkler to protect your home. They've seen more and more people do that and worry it could cause a water shortage. Please, if you um, have a sprinkler on home to protect your, your house, it's, it's not the time. Um, our firefighters critically need that water. Clackamas Community College here is now a base camp for firefighters. Earlier today, we saw people coming here to drop off donations. They said they are extremely thankful for all of the support, but at this point, they don't need anything else. Instead, they're asking you donate to the Red Cross or the Clackamas Emergency Services Foundation. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Coin 6 News.